Amos, well, I'm with Amos Gold right here, who's in London. He is a super um, architect um, who's got a yellow submarine in the background. We yeah, all... yeah I, I, made out of Lego. That's so cute. Um, and um, Amos um, really sort of struck my heart as a, as a, as a really big male empath. Um, I actually gave you a shout out on a Property Sisters post a couple of weeks back. Um, uh, there are not many men in the property industry that we identify as male empaths, and they're really, really lovely to come across. I know that's a, it's a rough thing to say, but there are, but they're just not out there. Um, and, um, and you've also done that really beautiful um, um, project in Israel for uh, the domestic violence um, shelter for women which really struck a chord with me. Um, it was a labour of love. We spent seven years on a shoestring budget. Nine, nine years. Jeez, nine years. Um, it's yeah, we, we, were, we were faced by six years of NIMBY. Uh, and not, and, and not, not in, looking after women on their back door. Yeah, yeah. But it's really, really made a massive impact. So, um, you know, I'm proud of what you've done, but you must be so proud of you. your family must be. Yeah. Um, it's very really cool, very cool. And um, your recent project, a house for a gardener. I love the drone going over, you know, what looks like a normal London street, and suddenly you close in on this, and you don't know, you know, you feel like you're in another country. So many plants, so much glass, and really, really cool design. Um, yeah. So just you want, I've given you a massive intro, but you could just say hi as well, and then um, share your tip. Um, I know you love biophilic design. So, sure. Yeah. Um, hi everyone. Thanks for the invite, Lara. Um, yeah, so we completed uh, a house for a gardener, um, which was an interesting project because usually in a domestic project, you have two clients or two mostly human clients. Uh, but in this project, we had a third client that was uh, the plants. Um, so one of the clients is a keen gardener. Um, and from the outset, uh, parts of the brief were about uh, the plants um, and uh, we created a, a winter garden for the plants that uh, require a bit of shelter uh, during uh, winter. Um, so, so the whole kind of design kind of re re evolved around them uh, and even when we were on site we had to coordinate uh, certain things, um, just keeping in mind uh, the replanting of the plants. Being delicate um, with the clients. <laughs> yeah, I love yeah. it that the plants were a client. They deserve it. Yes, um, and it's 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 a typical kind of terrace uh, Victorian house, um, but having that winter garden in the middle connects the living room with the kitchen and with the garden beyond uh, it's completely transparent and from everywhere that you look you just see see plants um, which completely tr transform the house and and the life of our of our clients it's fantastic i i i, I mean i said it already but i just think it's so great that we actually treat plants as clients you know that's the whole premise of biophilia and biophilic design is that we're not just working with nature to for our benefit we're working for the benefit of all nature um and just uh, <laughs> reporting to the club plants every morning sounds so funny yeah. yeah it's really good it's a really beautiful project so um we're really really proud and honored to have you here because you're a, you're you. literally a bit of a superstar in the architectural world mm. on especially on instagram um your account is really popular and fantastic to watch um so it's amos goldreich's um account by the way anyone who's watching and um I'm yeah just uh, the, the hashtag is well the, the the account name is ag architecture yeah yeah ag architecture um and um i'm missing your photo your, your beautiful painting in the background this time we, when we recorded before you had a, a really wicked piece yeah of I'm, I'm, I'm i'm looking at it now so. Oh, cool. Nice. <laughs> um, so what's your tip as you've worked with plants so much and you are actually doing this wellness um, certificate training? Have you completed it now? Uh, I haven't. Not, not yet. Um, thanks for reminding me. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, plants um, have unique properties um, and sometimes we, I think we take them for granted, but actually a lot of them have um, healing powers and can greatly improve our life our lives um, one has a very 
long Latin name, which I'm not going to try and um, pronounce, but it's got a funny name. It's called uh, the mother-in-law's tongue, um, which might give some people different sort of connotations. Um, yeah. But uh, it's great at um, sort of absorbing uh, toxics that, that we've got in, 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 in the air. Um, and it's good uh, to help fight um, allergies. Um, it also releases moisture, which is good. Um, so, and I, I think, Lara, you, you've got one on your right. I have one right. here, actually, yes. yeah. We're looking at one right here. Um, and I've actually just, uh, just uh, this used to have a couple more um, leaves coming out. It's really easy to look after. I just split it up and, and my daughter's got some, one now. Um, they, they literally, I, they're one of these that has plants, I think that everyone should have, because you can't kill them really. You could just give them about 12 waters, a, no, no, maybe a bit more than that, but maybe a, a bit of water every week. Even if you miss a few weeks, I, they're fine. Um, they're really beautiful to look at. So what we're looking at is really long sort of palm type um, fronds uh, with variegated leaves and sort of animal type patterns on them, haven't they? Yeah. But um, they're called mother-in-law's tongue. I, I, I wonder. I wonder why. <laughs> <laughs> they don't. You can't get rid of them because yeah. you don't, <laughs> if you don't get rid of them. No, I, I um, I don't think that's true of all mother-in-laws. Yeah. But it's a really easy one to remember. Thanks yeah. for sharing it with us. Pleasure. And good luck with your next projects. I'd love to see them, um, coming to fruition or blossom, or whatever you know, the right type of term is. Thank you for listening to Botanic Shed. We're here to help you build vitality and resilience by learning how to look after the gardens around you and yourself.